drive spinning down. Systems green. And here we are. Do you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Right. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Oh, yikes. Targeting the engines. Okay. A little bit more. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship's engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you will be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew on the ship to fight back. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. All right. We're coming, Moira. board. Alright, sir, are you ready for this? Bright light in here. Alright, uh, somebody's gone through quite a number of things here. Question is, where's... Where's Moira? Where's the bad guys? They've got to be in the cockpit. Alright, there doesn't appear to be any access here. next you in frosty temperatures like this there's nothing Ooh. better than a flask of a good English whiskey to keep you warm yeah I suppose so more a ship key the other doors then we need to be aware of wow there's an explosive tank right there too unlock more a ship key Jump seat. Captain's locker's empty. You were locked in the cockpit the whole time and you couldn't do anything about this situation. What's going on here, dude? Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. 
Any day you walk away from, right? Yeah, I suppose so. We're from the Explorers Group Constellation. We need to talk. Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives may kind of... my kind of party. More violence. No one has any respect for space these days. Who were those people? Why they hijack your ship? Now, what happened here? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Let's see. We're from Constellation. We need to talk. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? What? Get this thing on the outside of your ship? It'll be better in our hands. I'm going to groan on behalf of scientists everywhere, then you're going to hand over the artifact. <laughs> Uh, you were out of, you were out on patrol for a long time. People were worried. Kind of like this one. Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here, happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. I've got it. You look happy. Oh, you look really happy. Moira. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I can I just take your ship now? Yes, I can. Oh, it's right here. Artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Well, I'm glad it wasn't on the outside of the ship this time, as that's traditionally where hood ornaments are. Next time you're in Sidonia, hit me up. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll grab a beer. Oh, yeah. I'll take that too. Alright, here we go. Guess we gotta put this thing together like a puzzle piece. You're back. But, this Teo. is all exciting, but <laughs> we have it. there's really a lot of go pressure ahead. on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing we're putting this thing here. It fits! spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Constellation spacesuit added. Constellation space helmet added. Oh. I see. It's an honor to be a part of this. I expected champagne. Was it. What does it mean to be a full member? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Whoa. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. I suppose so. Um, I expect the champagne. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not Her sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. 
see. Got it, Sarah. Let's get back out there. I work better alone, Sarah. Maybe later. I have a few personal errands to run. Why ask me? Why not someone who's been here longer? Fair enough. Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? I feel like this thing's gonna hit me in the face. Um Yeah, let's get back out there. You can you can join along. Alright. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Who is Sam Co? What's this expedition of his? Bye bye. You know what? Maybe. Hold on, Sarah. We need to talk. And I just don't want to get hit in the face by that spinny thing. Yeah. Who's Sam Co? What's this expedition of his? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. No. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Sounds like a very charismatic guy. All right, uh, what can you tell me about Barrett? His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Yeah, he seems like a fun dude. All right, um... What's this eye? Who's Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Hey, sounds like a place we'll definitely have to check out. Um, what should I do first? Mind if I ask you some personal questions? How did you know there was an artifact on Vectera? You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. So what should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Uh, do you mind if I ask you any personal questions? Not at all. Oh. Do you have any religious beliefs? What do you consider your areas of expertise? Is there anything you'd like to do for fun besides exploring? Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. No, no Before promises. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. Marching I mean band. a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Well, look at you, such a baddie. All right, um, what do you consider your areas of expertise? You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. 
And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> that actually might be a good thing. Do you have any religious beliefs? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. No, not at Don't all. Don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. No, no, I, I think we're, I think we're good. We're on the same page. That's all for now. I hope you got something out of that. Sure. Um, let's go. Talk to you later. Yep. That's what we'll do. Talk later. Um. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. Bet you never expected to end like. up involved in something like this. Just go easy on him. It, Being it, interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Oh, man, you caught me. Um, and you must be Samco, the Freestar Collective expert. <laughs> Don't overwhelm me with welcome now. I might never leave. Try to keep things professional, if that's what you mean. Uh, speaking of family, you two related? I mean, we just kind of heard that they were. So, you must be Sam Co. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Uh, good to meet you, Cora. Glad to meet someone so young taking an interest in space. No offense, but not sure I feel comfortable talking to a kid in danger. Into danger? Oh, geez. Are you a little young to be a space explorer? Well, let's just be nice. Just, you know. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey. Don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? You know, I'm kind of curious as to what's wrong with the Frontier. Regardless, I am considering building my own ship soon. We'll keep the Frontier to the side. Only that it was a Freestar Collective space? Not much. Anything that gets me out of there works for me. You haven't heard really much about it. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. E. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Really now? I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. Anything I should know about Akila? Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Oh man. Um, I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Sure thing. First thing we gotta do is pick up Barrett, it sounds like, so maybe we'll just kind of jump into our missions here. And return to Vectera. That's where we gotta go.
right, off to Vectera we go. Orbital insertion completed. That's good. Vectera should be uh, this general direction. So let's go to Narion. We have enough in the grav drive. Boot up here. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. Can't be that bad. Well, you're back. Lynn! Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Oh no. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. See, I told you I shouldn't have left. Sorry, Lynn, I didn't know. Which should have... Should have evacuated after the first attack. Why hit the same place twice? What could they gain? That's actually a good question. Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Oh no. What if it's because I killed the captain? We should have evacuated after the first attack. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I know that talk. Suicide mission. That doesn't sound good. This would be the part where I would absolutely run away. That doesn't sound good. Or I know that talk. Suicide mission. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Him. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> oh no. It was going so well until that part. Of course, Heller got captured, just his luck. I didn't overhear everything. But after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. You need to find Barrett and Hellerlin. So he just stood around and did nothing. Boss of the year, right here. Let's not insult her. There's not exactly a ship lying around, is there? I don't see one, at least. A courier said Argos was packing up. Why not mention the attack? Yeah, what's what's going on there? Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. Suppose that's fair. I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I get that. Okay, we need to fix the comms computer. I guess it's located in this building here.
You coming? Okay, what do we have in here? Not all that sure that we're gonna find too much. All right. Uh, I see some switches here. That's kind of interesting. I wonder what that's gonna be for. this one should go for that one first that last click is so satisfying isn't it yeah I can't argue with that watermelon why is the monitor smashed making here. All right. Uh, communications computer. The computer is unpowered. Eve, look for a power source. You notice some auxiliary power banks in the next room. They appear to use standard power cells. Okay, hold on. We picked up some power cells, actually. That's one. That's two. And I haven't found the third one. And I was really hoping to sell those two. They were worth quite a bit of money. Zero wire. Apparently, now we're playing a game of who's got the button? We need one more power cell. Okay, apparently there's something going on outside. These guys have a power cell? Oh, look at this. Edits. Lynn, you got anything for me? You wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I need a power cell to repair the comms computer. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. If you need any more, feel free to scavenge around. I mean, that was... Got any more power cells? You alright, Lynn? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. Got any more power cells? Only managed to scrounge up one so far. I'm sure there's more around. Yeah. We know that there's one right there. I don't want to see what this marker's about, though. Maybe we'll walk away with an extra power cell. Come on, Sarah, let's go. Bench? The med bench you woke up on after the artifact knocked you out. Search for power cells. A lot of the components are sealed, but you managed to pry loose a single power cell. Did I re Ooh. Did I really want to do that? I think there might be a number of power cells laying about. Alright, going back outside.
Let's go. I'm not going to repair this anytime soon. Oh. Is there actually another one? A loading robot used as cover in a firefight. Back for power cells. I pulled a single power cell and now it's in my inventory. I hope I can sell these. Now we got to check out what this computer says. Emergency transmission. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Dang. Coming ship logs. Constellation ship. Alert, unified ship. Pirates. Alert two, unidentified ship. Pirates? There's a question mark. Constellation ship. So this was the first attack, the second attack, and then this is our return here. All right, interesting. Not a lot of visitors. Gotta talk to Lynn now. Let's go, Sarah. We've got Beats. Okay, I was about to leave you in there. Lynn? I got news. So, you actually get that computer working again? Yeah, you think I'm just some kind of basic... Uh, what'd you call me, a Dusty? I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What you got going on with Heller, Lynn? Uh, I knew it. You care about them. You're, all, you're a softie. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey... If you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Oh, yeah? Hold on, Lynn. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Look at you. You're an expert in demolitions and outpost management, especially outpost management. So yeah, I think you uh, may have a job. You're just the kind of traveling companion. I want you should come along. I'll let you know if I need you someday. What kind of things can you do for me? If you give me an outpost to run... I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. 
Oh. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. Awesome. You'd be okay with with working for me? Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> uh, you're ready to leave Argos? After this mess? Certainly. It's just a job. Nothing to get sentimental about. Oh, alright. Uh, you're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. No assignments are currently available for Super Lin, uh, Supervisor Lin. Right. So we've got the adoring fan, Sarah, Supervisor Lin, and Vasco. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. That's pretty cool. Okay. We need to find Barrett and Heller, though. That's the main priority here. They need... They need rescuing. Sarah, what what did you do? There's What's going on? I need to talk to you about. Oh no. What can I help you with? Well, what do you need to talk to me about? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time. How did you feel? Haven't we been over this? I had visions, heard sounds, and music. It's difficult to describe. That's a strange question, asking out of nowhere, right? Maybe, but I'd appreciate it if you'd hear me out. Okay. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside what were your thoughts like my mind and body were out of sync powerful like raw energy was coursing through my veins it's like being instantly pulled across the entire galaxy it was overwhelming i can't remember a thing what's with the psychiatric session doc if we're going to unlock the secrets of these artifacts we're going to need more than simple empirical data. We'll need to dig deeper. It would be helpful if you'd just tell me how holding the artifact made you feel. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Yeah, what, what do I say here? Like, my mind and body were out of sync. It was like instantaneously being pulled across the entire galaxy. Maybe this is the right answer. Oh my goodness. Must have been terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science, well, simply fails. Well, there's some things that science can't even explain. That's a bit of an understatement. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for them. Why didn't you... Why didn't you bring this up back at the lodge? Honestly, I wasn't sure how you'd react. Some people would consider what you went through a deeply personal experience. Okay. I want to share all my personal experiences with you. That is very direct. I have no problem being open about my feelings. Honestly, I really think you're overselling this whole experience. I wouldn't call it personal. It was scientifically fascinating. We'll go with the flirt option. I share all of my personal experiences with you. Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I enjoy hearing about them. <laughs> professionally, of course. Either way, um... Uh, yeah, professionally, of course. We need all the help we can get. The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Yeah, I definitely felt like it was trying to communicate. There's a solution to all of this out there somewhere. Even if we could answer, what would we say? When you, sp when you say it spoke to me, what exactly do you mean? Well, judging from the fact that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. 
Music composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. All right. Even if we could answer, what would we say? What would we say to what? We don't even know what it was trying to, to ask or whatever. I guess um, there's a solution to all this out there somewhere. Is there? After spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. No, you, you can't possibly have all the answers. This whole experience must be incredibly frustrating. It certainly is a unique obsession. Perhaps you're not getting enough support from your colleagues. What sort of data have you gathered? Is this, only, is this the only project you've been working on at Constellation? Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. What sort of data have you gathered? Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Well, it's certainly a unique obsession. Does that really surprise you? A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long? Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that. I guess that's fair. Then we'll get to the bottom of this mystery together. Never mind the dream. Think of the fame. <laughs> I'm still not convinced there's a mystery to be solved. You know what? I am a scoundrel. Let's uh, let's just think about the fame. Oh, I don't want to be famous. I just want answers. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Hey, great. Let's uh. Let's keep going. All thrusters firing. All right. Magrath. Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. I've got small feet. <laughs> that is funny. All right, here we go. Maybe adoring fan, maybe. All right, we got a hail from a bounty hunter captain. Oh no. Wanted? I don't know who you think I am, but you're about to find out. Ooh, that's that's threatening. How about you just fly on by, stranger, and forget you saw me? We can settle this peacefully. No one has to get hurt. What do you mean I'm wanted? How about you just fly on by and forget you saw me? Two thousand credits. I'm not giving you that. You can. I'm not giving you a, a, a single credit at all. Who put the bounty on my head? Yeah, I want to know. Does it yes. Damn.
that's that's man these, these bounty hunters don't play around you can fit way more than 2000 on Nash the moron one. destroyed well guess that settles that bounty I was hoping to capture one of their ships but apparently that's not gonna happen hey wastelanders don't forget to check out the description of my videos for a lot more content and fun you'll find links to my other platforms like my Twitter or discord community where you can find out more about my other projects a link to my merch store where you can grab exclusive dumb quantum merchandise and a few other beneficial and charitable links as well. But more importantly, you'll have all of this easily accessible over on the Capital Wasteland Travel Guide website, where you'll also find additional information about the cast, never before seen images of each discovered Fallout location, stories of the Traveler and his journeys between each episode, and so much more. If you liked today's episode, do me the huge favor of hitting that like button. And if you really liked it, you can also subscribe. It's completely free. You can also let me know what you thought of today's episode by dropping a comment below. I try to respond to everyone. But if you feel like that's not enough, you can directly show your support by hitting that super thanks button, or even hitting the join button to become a channel member. There are various tiers listed with different rewards. Regardless of how you choose to show your support, it's all very much appreciated. So thank you. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Wow. Yes, we we're a little too close. Obviously. All right. There we go. Jeez. That ship will carry the memory of your visit forever. I mean, for sure, I saved the guy's life. It's probably not going to be a bad idea to uh, run over to some of the shops here. And sell maybe some of the stuff that we've collected along the way. Bartender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Oh yeah. Talk to the bartender at viewport. Alright, we can do that later. It's funny how we pick up side quests. Must have been a good jump. We're still in one piece. Whoa, what's happening here? Um, is that a ship? Hey, contact Charlie 3. That's you. Yes, Charlie uh, let's slow down here. I got some information for you. Uh, please, uh, acknowledge. Uh, whatever's happening in here is, uh, can I help you out here? Like, can I stop you? Oh! Yeah, they're, they're, I don't even know if they're alive. Hold on a second, we've got some parts out here. Heller's Cutter. Rare. I'm gonna take that. Fragmentation Mine, I don't need it. I know, I loot so much. You can sit there, it's fine. I'll be done soon. Back, we're done. Let's go check it out. Hello. I hope you didn't record any of that, Vasco. The rejection is embarrassing. <laughs>